back to the Man United fans, Dan Oli Gunnar Solskjaer is to be the new Manchester United interim manager. Wow, this is some absolutely massive news. I said the legend is probably going to be the next Manchester United caretaker boss. I wanted the legend as well, Oli Solskjaer, a manager that is experienced of being a manager and a Manchester United legend as well, Oli Solskjaer. I mean, look, this is just absolutely massive news. I mean, Solskjaer is the new Manchester United manager. I mean, I'm pumped up. We needed a new bloody manager. And Solskjaer is the man that has stepped into Manchester United and is now the new boss. I mean, I think, look, look, this is just absolutely massive. I mean, he's going to be here for the next five months until the end of the season. Can Solskjaer bring the goods to Manchester United? This is really, really what I'm hoping that um that he he can do well at Manchester United and you know we really really need to hope and we need to have faith in Oli Solskjaer we need to support him as he now is going to be the new Manchester United manager hopefully there is no negative uh let's just not be negative about him and let's support Oli Solskjaer through this I mean you know there's lots of us Manchester United fans who literally love him and I mean you know I really like Oli Solskjaer um, and hopefully he can do a good job at Manchester United and can lead us to the top four because he's got the rest of the season. He's going to be here in January. He could be spending money, I think. Um, I, I, I don't think he's going to get much signings in January, but I think all we need to worry about now is just really trying to build this Manchester United side and stuff. Um, you know, building them into his style of players, attacking football players and everything. So... I'm happy, yes, let's get Sol Charlotte in, let's get him to try and do this job. Hopefully he can do well, um, and, let, and let's see what he can do in the next five months, and let's see uh, what he can do as Manchester United manager. What will he bring to Manchester United? Um, because, you know, the, the, this could be absolutely massive. We're going to see him against Cardiff. And, you know, there's lots of negativity. Some people think, no, Solskjaer is just going to be rubbish. Some people think, yeah, he's going to be absolutely amazing. Some people like me are saying, you know, I can't have an opinion on him just yet. We haven't seen him as Manchester United manager yet. Uh, I, 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 I'm just waiting to see, to be honest with you. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not sure about him yet uh, as a manager. I mean, you know, he, he was an amazing Manchester United legend. But what can he bring to Manchester United uh, as a manager so now he's coming up in a different role as a manager for five months of this club I'm hoping that he can you know bring the goods as a Manchester United legend playing under Alex Ferguson he should know what Manchester United is all about uh, he played under Fergie and he, he, he knows what we are all about obviously I think he he obviously does know um, what Manchester United is. We're meant to be an attacking side and we're meant to be winning trophies. We're meant to be fighting for trophies. So, yeah, and ho hopefully he can lead us to... I mean, you know, the, the, the title in the Premier League is gone no matter what. Uh, he could lead us... He could try and lead us to the Champions League and he could try and lead us to uh, the FA Cup as well. I think, you know, let's try and get the FA Cup this season. I mean, you know, I, I want to try as hard as we can to try and get the Champions League and stuff under him. But, you know, this is going to be for the rest of... The, uh, the, this is going to be for the rest of the season. We could be having Poch um, at the end of the season. So our, our new manager, well, our, our new long-term manager, is going to be appointed at the end of the season. So, yeah, um, it, it's very, very interesting news that uh, Solskjaer is going to be the new caretaker boss of Manchester United. And, you know, I think we need trophies at Manchester United. I'm really hoping that this is the answer. And that, you know, he has, he didn't do well at Cardiff. He, he didn't. But I think, you know, it's good. He's played for Manchester United. And I think that's quite a good sign. I think it's a good sign for us. I don't think we should be negative about him because he has played for us. So, it, it, it's different to having, like, the Dan come into Manchester United and stuff. That, that That's totally different. Now, you know, we've we've got Solskjaer, he's a Manchester United legend, and he, he could come in and do quite well with us. So, that is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that Solskjaer does do well with Manchester United. As you know, we need a manager who does know what Manchester United about is about. And we, we need a manager who, you know, knows how to manage a Manchester United team. Um, and, you know, knows how Manchester United works. And Solskjaer knows that because as a former Manchester United player, that's a good reason 
why to why we should get a manager to just be caretaker. I mean, you know, I wouldn't recommend him being long term. I wouldn't be that happy if you know we appointed Solskjaer for long term. I I mean, look, as I said, I, I don't have an opinion, to be honest with you. I don't have an opinion because, you know, the reason why I wouldn't want Solskjaer as long term is because there are, like, other managers out there, like Poch, Zidane, Enquiry, Simeone. Uh, there, there's other managers out there who could do the job better than how Solskjaer could. Solskjaer's just here to just be the interim manager for the rest of the season, caretaker. So, yes, but I think... I'm having faith in Solskjaer and I believe he can do the job um, at Manchester United and ho- hopefully he can do it right. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm believing in Oli Solskjaer uh, that, you know, he can bring the rights to Manchester United as we're meant to be an attacking side and we're meant to uh, win trophies um, at Manchester United. Hopefully um, we do get the... I think we'll get the attacking football from him, obviously, as I think it's really important that we do it's uh because you know the football it really does depend on a lot if we get the football right we it's it's quite likely that we can go on and do very very well so yeah just get this football right and everything then we could go on and win a few trophies under really social and that and that would be absolutely amazing if we could do that so Yes, I'm hoping that it all goes right with Oli Solskjaer and, you know, let's back him. He's going to get all the support he needs to manage a massive club like Manchester United now, though. As, you know, right now we are a really tough club to manage after all, ever since Fergie's left. Um, it's it's going to be tough for Solskjaer and stuff to sort out these problems at Manchester United in five months and everything. Because now, look, uh, it, it, I think, you know, it's good that we got a caretaker manager to just come in and win matches with us um and it's good that they are a manchester united legend to just win matches that's what Solskjaer needs to do win matches then our next you know proper experienced manager who's been managing for years and you know is like literally a world-class manager can come in and build the players up into their proper attacking players and everything and players that are actually capable to win the league and everything like that I mean, look, to be honest with you, we got the players. But, you know, it, it was just Jose Mourinho, to be honest with you. But, you know, I think we do have to thank Jose Mourinho in a way for what he has done um, at Manchester United. But now, look, we're moving on to a new campaign, a new era under Oli Solskjaer now. So, yeah, but it's some absolutely massive news so for Manchester, for us Manchester United fans. Some people are happy, some people are really, really annoyed. But, you know, I, I, I'm quite happy. I'm, I'm not annoyed. I don't think we should get annoyed i don't think we should rant but i'm um, i'm happy you know that this could be this could go very very right so for manchester united and hopefully ho- hopefully he does get on well with the players and everything so yeah um he he, he doesn't he he's not he um because you know the thing with Mourinho is that he was negative jose Mourinho was a negative manager so you know l- l- that's just the bad thing in manchester united jose Mourinho was just Jose Mourinho is just really, really negative, to be honest with you. And, you know, look, look we just can't have another, another negative manager. I don't think Solskjaer is negative. He wasn't like Gary Neville or anything, to be honest with you. Because if we have Gary Neville, then I think that would have been quite negative. Solskjaer, he hasn't came out and said anything stupid about Manchester United. It's the exact same problem with Scholes as well. He's quite negative. Gary Neville... And, and scores are quite negative about Manchester United. And, you know, we don't want a Manchester United legend who's just negative and boasting about what they were like. Solskjaer's not one of those. Solskjaer seems like a, a very nice guy, and I think he can bring uh, bring some trophies to Manchester United. So let's have faith, faith, faith in Oli Solskjaer. So come on, Solskjaer. Hopefully this is a good deal. So thanks for watching the video of the Man United fans. And I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.